Sista, we're the Mangangara. Uh, great to have you on this journey. Please share with me from your heart space what this moment is about for you and how it feels, what it feels for you to be a part of bringing, restoring, and dreaming in and implementing the, the uh, Commonwealth Treaty of Humanity and for the sovereign people to be truly recognized. For me, it's always about the oneness. So it's the oneness of all of us as one family. And uh, to me, when you're not in the oneness, your circle's broken. And when the circle's broken, that means your health is not good. It means your mental health is not good. You're spiritually not good. You're disconnected. For me, it's about bringing our people together to reconnect and to know what's real and what's true. Um, and a lot of us, we get caught up in, and I do too, we get caught up in the world of, you know, we've got to do this, we've got to do that to make a living and everything else, and I do all that. I'm very practical, I like to be balanced. And it's all about the balance too. And we're out of balance. Mother Earth's out of balance, you know, and we feel it in our bodies, we feel it in our hearts, we all know it's true. We don't feel empowered, we feel disempowered a lot of the time. Um, but we can empower ourselves by believing in um, a better world for our children. Um, I have children, I'm a grandmother, I have eight uh, grandchildren, and two of them are indigenous grandchildren. And that comes to me, you know, like, I worry about them. I worry about what's going to be out there for them. What's going to happen to their children? For me, it's about that too. It's about creating something better and slowing down. We need to all slow down. Slow down and be in, in tune with things, with nature. And it's not airy fairy either because when you're actually slowing down, you make better decisions and um, you, you walk stronger. Um, so for me to come here on this journey, it's been a long time coming. I've done a lot of a lot of soul searching and I've done a lot of hard work and I've been through a lot. I've seen a lot. Um, and yes, it's easy to judge. It's very easy to judge. But when you walk in someone else's shoes, it's not so easy to judge. So we're on this journey. Um, we're going to Canberra. And Canberra is the epitome of, you know, Western culture. Canberra makes decisions for all of us and our children's futures. But for me, a lot of it politically is four years. They have four years in power and then suddenly they're out. And then, you know, you've got another group in in four years. How can you do anything in four years? It's just not, it's just not possible really. The government of Australia doesn't seem to understand that you need a longer term to make things right, to, to plan. We can't just plan in four year cycles. We have to plan way ahead. And what's going to be left? We have a lot of mining where I come from in South Australia and um, we managed to save uh, a wilderness area up there. It was difficult because people there wanted money, royalty, but in the end result, what happened to them? They got sick and they forgot. They forgot why they were really there. But we, we managed to save this lovely wilderness area and thank goodness we did because we know at least that's, that place, that place will be there for everyone. You know, and for the creatures and the trees and when you go there there's no fences there's little dirt roads and you can expand your vision you know you're not just here you're actually expanding your 
vision and you can feel the beauty and the peace and the tranquility and, and, and I guess for some people that's really frightening because we're so used to everything chat 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 but when you actually go into that beautiful gentle and sometimes very strong light and peace it's a little bit frightening but you know that's where we came from in the beginning we came from that beautiful peaceful place Mother Earth is in trouble. Um, decisions that governments have made have created that problem. Uh, recently I was near the beautiful Darling River and um, to be honest, I feel so sorry for the people there. The farmers, some of them suicidal, um, have struggled to, to try and get people to understand what they're dealing with and these people are feeding us and yet we think in the cities oh it just comes from woolies you know but it, it doesn't people are out there doing the hard yakka and it's really tough out there and I feel for those people and I feel for the Aboriginal people that live there and can see that they can help the situation but are disempowered through the powers that be and they don't know their place a lot of the time and they're not encouraged to know their place a lot of the time. Yes, they're a minority, but they have huge wisdom about the land. And if only we took the time to listen to that, perhaps things would be better. So for me to go on this journey, it's about balance. So I need to remember that. Um, enjoy that and you know celebrate it um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to it um, I think we're going to have some very beautiful times and some challenging times um, but I think all in all I think we're going to be working as a team in a good way um, getting to know each other um, we'll probably be like little polished stones afterwards, <laughs> all the rough edges will be gone. Um, I'm really looking forward to connecting with other like-minded people, but also um, sending a message out through the music and the songs um, that it's time for people to be coming together more and to empower the people to speak out and to make those changes in their local communities and bigger do that we've all got the internet now you know there's no excuse you can get on there and pick up any cause you want and you can get behind it um, so yes I'm looking forward to meeting the children on the journey and I uh, bought a little drum for them to play with teach them a few little songs um, yeah I just enjoy eating some good food um, I think good foods important especially for our indigenous cultures um, to learn about good health and nutrition it's very easy to slip into McDonald's and I don't think we'll be doing that on this journey <laughs> sorry McDonald's but not on this journey um, and yeah the oneness the oneness and the beauty of all of us so from my heart, um, to all of you there, um, support us, celebrate us, get behind us, because we're all in this together, and we love you all, and um, yeah, I think that's about it. That's all I need to say today. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Too deadly to love.